What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day number 49 of Autodesk Fusion. Today, I'm going to be making uh, this hex key identifier. And so, um, what I know for me is that in my classroom, I got a bunch of hex keys, but it's really hard telling what size they are, especially those um, small ones. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to 3D print this at some point and uh, see if they work, see if they are accurate to, um, to what we've built here. However, I'm uh, not sure. I guess maybe I'll do a follow-up video on how accurate this thing is. But I'm going to talk about how I made it uh, using some features within Fusion that we haven't necessarily done or used them in this particular way. All right, so what I'm going to do is start a new design. And I'm going to create my first sketch. My first sketch is just going to be a rectangular piece that is big enough for this uh, hex key identifier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to inspect this because I forgot how big I made this. Let's, uh, that is 5.69 inches. Let's go to my document settings. Let's change the units here to millimeters. And let's inspect that again because I'm in millimeters on the other one right now. So that is 150. Okay, so we're 150 by, what is that? Uh, let's see, 150 by 100. Let's do that. So what I'm going to do is I've got my rectangle here. I'm going to dimension this side out here as, let's try that again. Let's go back at my sketch. Dimension this as 150 and hit enter and dimension this side as 100. Go ahead and hit finish sketch and we're going to extrude this to be some distance. I think what I did and what I chose earlier was to give it some legitimate volume. I think I'm going to make this about an inch in thickness. So 20 millimeters or 20 uh, or two centimeters is going to be about the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit click OK. And now we've got our block here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new sketch on this block. And what I've got here is this block, half of it's going to be metric, half of it's going to be inches. This video, I'm just going to be doing the metric portion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a line right here across the middle, and this is going to be my construction line. That way I know uh, I'm keeping my sides separate here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a rectangular pattern to uh, create a point and then create points kind of uh, in an equidistance from each other from their centers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on uh, Create, and I'm going to do Point. Now I'm going to pick this first point over here and then click done. So this is where I'm going to have each of my polygons kind of referenced to is that their, their centers right here. So I'm going to click on create and rectangular pattern. We're going to repeat this pattern um, as many times across as we can. So let's do three, four, five. Uh, and that looks okay. How many do we got originally? So we got one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, we got 12 in total. So let's do this back to this rectangular pattern here. And I'm going to do six, let's do six, seven, eight, let's see if I can get away with eight. And uh, let's also do it in another direction. So let's just also do it in this direction. And where's that arrow at? There we go. And in the second direction, we're only going to do it, uh, looks like, I want to do one time. Actually, hold up. Something's not right here. There we go. I'm going to repeat that rectangular pattern. It wasn't like any begin with. I think it's because I went back to the other design. So we're just going to go this way. And let's do the four, five, six, seven. Let's do eight. And in the other direction, we're going to do two rows and then click OK. So now what I've got is I've kind of got a pattern here where all my um, holes are going to be equidistant from each other. Now, if you notice, my drop down menu or my, my ribbon up here looks a little bit different because what I've done is under this polygon, since I know I'm going to be using it a lot, I want to pin it to my browser window, pin it to my, so what I've got here is I've got circumscribed polygon. I clicked on these three little dots right here 
and I pinned it to the toolbar because I know I'm going to be using it a lot and I don't have to click, click, click when I can just make it one click away. So when you do that, it will pop up. So I'm going to unpin it and we can see it pop up right there. You can do this for almost any command within Fusion just because if you know if you use something quickly, you can kind of um, use it and customize a little bit as you'd like. So I'm going to do some click on Polygon. And we got the first one right here. Now this one, we are looking at radius here. So I'm typing in the radius. I want it to be two millimeters. So I'm just gonna type in half of the radius that I want. I'm gonna click on polygon again. And we want this to be 2.5, so that's 1.25. And just doing some quick math. This one's gonna be three, so that's 1.5. Polygon again. And uh, this gonna be, th uh, I think we're gonna do 3.5. Now, if you have a hard time doing that mental math, you can actually make Fusion be the calculator for you. So I'm just going to type in 3.5 divided by 2. There we go. And we're just going to keep on going with that. Now, uh, this next one should be 4, so it's going to be 2. And we're just going to go all the way. So this should be 5, 2.5, polygon. This one should be 6, so we're going to put in 3. And this last one should be 7, so we're going to put in 3.5. We're going to keep on going. we got 8, so this is going to be 4. This is going to be 9, so this is 4.5. And then the most common of all of them seems to be 10 millimeters. I don't know why, but every time I work on my car, it's a 10 millimeter bolt. All right, so we're looking good there. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create uh, some text here. So on this point right here, I'm going to create text and it's going to be metric. Say metric. Uh, we have 2 to 10 millimeter units. Now my text is going in the wrong direction, so we're going to rotate that on over to where it looks about where I want it. You can move it however you'd like. And then um, we can do the same thing with um, let's move that just a little bit. Oh, nope. I want to move just the text. Come on. Let's try that again. Uh, it's snapped to that point, and I don't want it to do that. So let's do metric 2 to 10 millimeter. Rotate it about, and that's about where I want it. You can also change the height and the kind of the font of what you're looking for. Um, let's go ahead and I'm going to call that good. Click OK. Now, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to waste time uh, making this video unnecessarily long because what I'm going to do here with the metric, you can do the same thing with identifying your uh, points down here. So if you notice on my hex key identifier, I've took it, taken the text and extruded it down the same thing as I did with metric. So let's go ahead and go over here and I'm going to hit E on my keyboard. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to align this in such a way where I can highlight everything I want to extrude. Now, sometimes this doesn't work. Sometimes we get a little bit of a weird errors. Uh, let's see if we get some of those today. So I'm going to extrude all those through. Some of my weird errors happened because I was extruding or cutting out too far. Uh, so I'm going to cut out just to the face of that and then see what happens. Click cut. I'm asked Fusion to do a lot right now. Let's see if those cutouts came out all right. And they did. Wonderful. So all you need to go in here and do now is to go ahead and add more text and extrude that text. The same thing we did with this metric right here. Uh, and then we're going to call this done for this video. And um, I'll save the next day. I'm going to flip this over and do the inches side. So I'm going to also change active units and then uh, augment my pieces throughout there as well. All right, guys. Hope you like this video. If you've got any questions, comments, concerns, or want me to do something over a particular, something you me make, let me know down in the comments sections or shoot me through one of my social media platforms. And I will see you on the next video.